each everyone and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as said by Minister Smith. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, once again, we want to thank you. My God, we want to thank you for blessing your people, my God, to enter into the house of prayer once again. Lord God, that we may call upon thy precious name, my God, that we may have mercy in our time of need. Lord God, we want to thank you for allowing us, my God, this opportunity to call upon the name of the Lord, my God, that we may be saved from this untoward generation. Lord God, we praise you and thank you for this broadcast that's going forth. Lord God, we pray that you open the eyes of the blind and unstop the deaf ear, my God, and circumcise the heart. My God, give them a heart of flesh, my God, that they may come to repentance and remission of sin. My God, we pray, Lord God, that they repent of their many sins after they hear the preaching of the word. My God, that they may be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. My God, we pray, my God, that they tarry until they be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, help them continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, fellowship, and the breaking of bread and in prayer. My God, we pray for the man of God, Bishop Josie Tisdale. We pray, Lord God, that you have a word in his mouth, my God. Help him to speak the word of God with boldness. My God, pulling down all the strongholds, my God, and we pray that he preach. My God, lost souls, that they may be saved from this untoward generation. Continue to bless the church. Continue to bless all the sick and the shed in, the burden down in the trouble, the afflicted everywhere. Lord God, these and all blessings we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, we pray. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole truth program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joel C. Tisdale. Post Office Box 2017, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs and calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Special announcement. For the benefit of those of you who would assemble and are concerned about knowing how to save yourselves, we have this special announcement. If it is the Lord's will, Bishop Tisdale will be preaching at our church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which is located at 655 Northwest 12th Avenue, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, beginning on Friday night, December the 20th through Sunday, December the 22nd, 2013. I was first began on Friday night at 7.30 p.m. and on Saturday evening at 4 p.m. and again at 7.30 p.m. and on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. All are cordially invited to be with us in these great spiritual services in the Lord. Now, at this time, the choir will render a selection entitled, Give Me a Heart Like Thine.
Sunday is indeed an honor unto you, to you, the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We do give honor to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We do greet everybody, all of the saints of God, all of the people of God throughout the world, even unto the entire world. We greet you with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are so glad that the Lord is giving us time. He's allowing us to prepare ourselves to meet him. And he's coming, the fifth chapter of 1 Thessalonians. When they say peace and safety, it's going to be sudden destruction. God is warning his people throughout the world. You may not believe it, but if you are pure of mind and heart and you want to live after the death of your body on this side, if you desire eternal life, you have to always look to the word of God. Jesus Christ says, my sheep will hear my voice. Amen. And a stranger they will not hear. If you desire to have God, I say unto you today, believe on the Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus said in his words, all things are possible mm -hmm. unto him that believe. That's right. We can believe on him. Yeah. And see what's going to happen after you believe on the Lord Jesus with a serious heart and mind. He won't, won't disappoint you. He will work on your faith. Amen. Where is your faith? Mm -hmm. If you have faith as much as a mustard seed, you're supposed yes. to speak to the mountain. Yes. And it will move out of your life. Yes, it will. If you believe Jesus Christ, you're going to be blessed by him. And I say unto you as a witness of God, believe him. Trust him. Amen. Obey him. Amen. Because, amen, this is what's going to get you with him and have you ready when he comes. Amen. Now he's coming as a thief in the night. Yes. And you better remember, he's not going to tell you when he's coming. He warns the saints by the word of God. Isn't that a blessing? He shows us in the word what we ought to do, how we ought to be. I say to everybody, let's check the word of God out and see where you are. Amen. All right, Marita, let's begin here. First Thessalonians 5 and 1. All right. But of the times and seasons, brethren. See of the time and season, brethren. You have no need that I write unto you. You have no need. See, we, we are following the word of God every day. Amen. We are being warned every day from the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we're not going to be caught. Amen. As the world going to be. Amen. Amen. We, we, we're not unawares. We know that God is coming. That's right. What does it say, reader? For yourselves know perfectly. You know perfectly. That the day of the Lord. That the day of the Lord. So cometh. So cometh. As a thief in the night. Now that's how the Lord cometh. Amen. Amen. You get a warning from many things. You better accept a warning from God. Surely. He's trying to warn you. And Amen. tell you that he's going to come. And he said when he comes. He said behold I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according to his work. Amen. All right, if your works are not good, if you don't believe in him, my God, this is terrible works. 
But Man. if you can believe, this mm -hmm. is good work. Surely. This is the work of God if you can believe in him. Amen. So you must believe in him. Surely. He's warning us. I say to you out there that wants to go back with the Lord Jesus Christ, please accept the warning. God is calling from the rising of the sun until the going down thereof. He's warning us. He's saying that he's coming. Why don't we believe him? I say you better believe him now. Amen. If you want to be saved. Read, read it. But when they shall say. When they shall say. Peace and safety. Peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon then them. Then sudden destruction is going to come upon them. As travail upon a as woman. As travail upon a woman. With child. With child. And they shall not escape. Then you're not going to escape this. God going to come. And all you that, amen, disobey the word of God, I know you out there in second marriages, and you don't want nobody to tell you because the second one you have is sweeter than the first one you yeah. see. That's because the devil sweetened it up for you. Mm -hmm. How did he do it? By the lust of the eye. Yep. And then the pride of life. He deceived you and caused you to say you need another. But Jesus Christ, see, I want to be ready when he comes. Amen. Amen. He said it was not so from the beginning, people. That's right. And I don't care how you look at it. God have it fixed now where a man supposed to have one wife. One. One husband and one wife. One. Amen. If another one living in this world, you, you, you better not, you better get unhitched hitched from the one you have. Amen. And if the other one is married, you better stay single all the rest of your life. Amen. So you can be saved. That's right. Amen. I want to be ready when he comes. Amen. He said, if you're on the housetop, don't come down to get your stuff on the inside of the house if you're on the top of the house. Yeah. See, God's going to come quickly. Amen. Two women at the mill. He said, one going to be taken and the other left. Isn't That's that right. right? That's right. Two men in the bed. This mm -hmm. is close, you know. Surely, surely. This is very close. Amen. Amen. One going to be taken and the other left. You're not going to have time to say, oh, Lord, have mercy on me. No, I'll no. live right now. No, we no. have the opportunity now to repent. Right now. We have the opportunity now to believe the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. I say, believe him while you have time. Surely. Believe him and call on his name. It's, it's a precious name to call yes, on when you're in trouble. Sure My is. God, and you can't see your way. He is the light of the world. Yes, he My is. God, he's so powerful, amen, amen, that the light that was in Jesus Christ, it shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehendeth not. No man can say he's a sinner, and God can't find him by the word of God. Amen. Is that right? That's the right. The word of God will clean you up. Yes, it Amen. Will. And have you ready when the Lord comes? Sure. I say he's coming. You may not believe it, but God is blessing my mouth to tell you what you ought to do. My God, you better repent. You better be baptized.